So we learned this morning in the prayer call that people in the community and in the world are asking, where is God in all of this? Well, back in the day when Moses spoke for God, he would be in the presence of God and having come out of the presence of God, he would have to veil his face because he reflected the Lord's glory in such a way that people couldn't even look on him. Well, Paul reminds us in 2 Corinthians chapter 3 that we now are the ones who reflect the Lord's glory. As Moses had done it then, now we reflect his glory. In 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 18, he says this, And now we who with unveiled faces all reflect the Lord's glory, or all contemplate his glory. We, we contemplate his glory and we reflect his glory, are being transformed into his likeness with ever-increasing glory, which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Do you get the picture? Because we have his spirit within us, we are the ones who now reflect his glory. Even as we contemplate his glory, we consider his greatness and his character and his Holy Spirit lives within us, we're the one who reflect his glory. We're the one who reflect his character. If the world's gonna see his compassion, they'll see it in us. If they're gonna see his peace, they're gonna see it in us. If they're gonna see his joy, they're gonna see it in us. We are the ones who reflect his glory and our faces faces are no longer veiled it's it's clear for everyone to see so by his holy spirit would you be one that god reflects his glory in today because we who with unveiled faces all reflect god's glory as we contemplate uh, the lord's glory are being transformed into his likeness with ever increasing glory which comes from the lord who is the spirit Oh, let his character be reflected in you more and more so that the world around us sees that he is with us and he is an awesome God. God bless you as you reflect his glory today.